Oh my gosh, it's oh my gosh, it's a mono milk squirtle. Should I be trying to level up my green grass salad? What is that like for you? Because I always hear horror stories. Highly recommend. I really, really enjoyed it. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday and let's see what sort of Pokemon showed up for this sleep research. I believe I placed another Suicune incense, so let's see whether or not we're, we're able to catch Suicune number four and how lucky we are. So we did end up finding Chris. Chris, the one with the shiny Suicune. They joined the Discord yesterday. And it's nice to put a uh, face <laughs> to the name. All right, the moment of truth. Hmm. Okay, so at least we got Totodile and Squirtle showing up, which is good because we're still on the hunt for one. But it doesn't seem like we've encountered a new sleep style for Suikun yet. Let's see if any of them show up hungry. Ooh, Squirtle's hungry. That's all. Hmm. That's good. Okay, let's let's feed our Suicune first, or let's do Squirtle first. We'll give it a bonus biscuit because I do. Do not want to use my Poke Biscuits, but actually maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have used my Poke Biscuits and then used two more. And then perhaps save that bonus biscuit for Suikun. Oh well. Alright, first cookie. Oh my gosh, it's a critical capture! Holy cow. Okay, so it looks like we are on a good track for Suikun number 5. We will see whether or not it's a good one though. But I'm super, super happy about that. And let's pick up or give a Poke Biscuit to Totodile while we're at it. We'll feed it one cookie. I do have a Totodile incense, so probably we'll use that tonight and then save up some main to collect for another Suikun incense. So we're gonna end our sleep research there. I don't wanna spend too much cookies. So, ooh, we got 92 main today. I think that's the highest we've got so far. Now I do wonder, what's the highest you can get? Has anyone broken into the triple digits? All right, so the moment of truth, we're gonna see whether or not it's a mono milk squirtle. Oh my gosh, it's a mono milk squirtle. Let me take a sip of matcha because I feel like my throat is getting a little stuck, but here it is, beautiful today. So I got my strawberry syrup and my oat milk. Actually my favorite oat milk, the minor figures one. That is always so delicious, delicious <laughs> and refreshing. All right, so it's a mono milk squirtle. I forgot what impish is, so we'll, we will see. Sleep bonus EXP is all right. Helping speed S is good. Skill trigger S is all right. Skill level up is all right as well. Is it, oh, inventory up S, okay. Is it at least ingredient finding up? Energy recover. Oh my god, that's so bad. That's so bad. So the search continues for a good squirtle. Quirky nature. I think quirky is neutral, right? Let's see. So it is apples, oil, and apples. We've got helping bonus, which is really good. Helping speed is nice as well. Ingredient finding M good ingredient finding s is nice also inventory up s it is a neutral nature so no skill triggers or skill level up but i mean kind of better than the ones that we've got so far 
especially with the helping bonus there. Let me just star this little bad boy for now. And not bad for a critical capture Suikun, right? So I'm pretty happy about that. And thank you so much for MP for letting me know that the mission one events are still able to be completed during mission two. I was a little worried about that because that is a, a lot of mains to give up there. So we finally finished our fish mission one events. Now all that's left for mission two is I need to cook six more times and stick to my bedtime one more time. And I'll have a total of 100 main from that. So right now we got 190. I have two cookies on hand. Let's save up four. Hmm. I could use an... I think getting a third cookie is the safest bet because we never know what our luck will look like. All right, and now let's collect some ingredients. I brought out my Doug Trio because I am just not doing well in the leak department right now. With the Quackable working on its own. Which is quite the bummer because last week it was doing so well. Um, actually, let's see. So, yeah, Ninja Curry requires 12 leaks. Ninja Salad requires 15. It's not the biggest jump but it did so well last week you know but we do have enough for a ninja salad the other thing about bringing in my duck trio is that i also have a tomato farmer now so my backup is the spore mushroom salad now i'm wondering for this weekend should i be trying to level up my green grass salad i feel like that's the move right especially because my fur alligator has been farming quite a bit of oil lately so we We've been getting like triple digits of oil, so I always have to sell that, sell the surplus. So let's see whether or not we get a crit. No crit. I haven't really been lucky with crits lately either. But there it is, 55k, which is really nice. So we are at Master 8 right now, that jumped us up to Master 9, and my current record for this place is Master 16, like Greengrass Isle. Alright, now let's see if Wigglytuff, we did. I love having a healer on the team because Especially on events like this where you're not taking naps, having high energy all day is so helpful. So we are steadily replenishing our- ooh, I got a Poke Biscuit. Replenishing our sleep points. We have 894 now, which is great. Wait, let's see. Did I? Okay, so I have five more. Let's just go ahead, pick all that up. And I've already redeemed my master biscuit for this week, uh, for this month. I don't want to use another master biscuit for this Suicune. Because I just don't feel like I need to. So I'm holding on to my last one. Now with the Suicune event finally here. And I know a lot of you, like myself, was a little anxious about this event finally arriving. But now that it's here, it's like... What's gonna be next, you know? Oh my gosh! Tidissa, congrats on the shiny Growlithe! Such a beautiful golden boy. And Arcanine, or Arcanine, depending on how you like to pronounce it, is a pseudo-legendary or legendary. I know that in Scarlet Violet, or in Pokemon entries in general, it'll say that it is a legendary Pokemon. I feel like most people tend to forget that. Tyranitar as well, right? So yesterday, my boyfriend and I finished the movie Fresh. Spoke to you guys about it yesterday. Or, yeah, 
I spoke to you guys about it yesterday in the video and then yesterday night we finally finished the remaining of the video I really really like it so at first uh, after coming off of watching past lives I was like I'm so in my feels I don't want to watch another movie that will put me in my feels you know because I'm not ready yet so I told my boyfriend oh Chrissy congrats on the shiny gulpin Whenever I see shiny gulpin, it makes me crave jello. <laughs> like a blue raspberry jello, you know? But I told my boyfriend, I'm not ready to go through all those emotions again, so I wanted to watch a psychological thriller. So, so he decided that we are going to watch Fresh. And at first he told me that it is a romance movie. And that's all he told me. And I was like, hmm, okay. But I didn't want romance. Is it gonna make me cry? And he's like, it's like a rom-com. And I'm like, okay. And the movie starts off that way, very unassuming. It's like a girl going on a date. It's kind of like giving a glimpse into what dating looks like right now, like the current climate, climate of dating. Side note, are any of you guys single and are dating around like right now? What is that like for you? Because I always hear horror stories about how atrocious it is on the apps and how difficult it is to like find people meet people and honestly hearing those stories like i can't imagine if i were single right now trying to put myself out there to find my person i can't imagine what the work is like oh game jane congrats on the shiny quaxwell i also found my shiny uh as a quaxwell for that evolution line so congrats on that. I actually love the colors for that. But yeah, I hear like a lot of my friends talk about how difficult it is meeting people on the apps or just like finding someone serious. I feel like a lot of times it's just like people that want to hook up or feed their ego and they're not really serious about looking for something or they, they don't even know what they are they want out of a partner as well. So you kind of see that reflected in the beginning scenes of that movie, how dating could be and everything like that. And then it takes a twist and I'm going to leave it at that. But I really liked the twist. It moments where it made me go like, oh my gosh and stuff, you know, and I love those type of movies. It's not a horror, I would say. Maybe I think more thriller. Don't know about psychological but i could see how it could play into that but highly recommend i really really enjoyed it if you haven't watched it watch it oh and that shiny totodile it's so minty looking i love it other than that i took my first pole combo class yesterday and because the weather is getting colder i noticed that i just my grip is so poor and if you do heavy or uh, weightlifting, you'll know that sometimes you need to use chalk on your hand so that you get a better grip of the weights or the barbell. And oh, how cute. It's like a little leaf on the head. But yeah, it's kind of the same for pole because you, you have to like stick on the ball. You don't want to slip because then you don't want to like run the risk of getting injury, right? Or falling on your head, breaking your spine, which is scary as well. So I always have to use chalk no matter what because I just have very slippery hands. They're, they, they're dry and they just do not have a good grip contact onto the pole. But even no matter how much chalk I use, I just felt like I couldn't stay on the pole. So I, I kind of felt a little frustrated because I was like, I feel like I couldn't nail the, the combo probably because I didn't have good grip. So that kind of sucked, but the combo was really fun to do. It's a, it's a nice little break from doing my regular pole classes where I'm just learning tricks and gaining more strength. So having a combo class is more like the artistic side, putting all the skills you know all together. Kind of like when you go to dance class and they throw a choreo at you. It's, it's kind of like that. But I really enjoyed it. It was challenging, it was different, and I loved it. So I'm looking forward to taking more combo classes and I have a dentist appointment later today at 5.15 so I gotta fill up some of the cavities that I got so 
that's going to be what my day is going to look like later also today the water is off in the building until like after the afternoon-ish so that kind of sucks so I have to be very careful about what I do because the water is shut off so I'm a little worried <laughs> so we're gonna see how that's gonna be in terms of plans later today not too sure what we will do maybe we'll watch another movie my boyfriend and I usually like to work out together um, like after the work hours and everything but he recently popped like a huge blister on his toe and it's like it looked damn painful and i've been telling him for a while like that blister looks very bad like you need to give your your foot some time to heal but he's been pushing it and he's been going to the gym still and then yesterday it just like really pushed it over the edge pain wise i think so i think he's gonna take a break today and I think with the physical activity I'm having today as well, I'm probably going to take a break. Especially because I had pole yesterday, so like my upper back is kind of killing me right now. So yeah, it's just going to be a chill Wednesday. That's honestly what it feels like, just a chill Wednesday. Which is why they call it hump day, if you didn't know. Also, Wednesdays we were pink, so I'm in my pink gelato peak sweater but i got this in japan and i gotta say i got a bone to pick with gelato peak because tell me why two of the cardigans i got like at least three of the buttons fell off and i was so disappointed when that happened because you're paying quite the pretty penny for it right so for the buttons to fall off after one wash i don't know kind of annoying but that is today's video pretty short pretty sweet i hope you enjoyed that if you haven't yet watch fresh and if you have not yet joined us in the discord definitely do so you can find the link in the description box but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one so until then take care have fun and good luck bye